He was getting ready to go on the cross uh, just for me. Uh, he was getting ready to go on the cross, Diane, uh, just for you. Uh, everything that we have ever done, uh, every sin that I ever committed, uh, he was going on the cross for me. Uh, hallelujah, and I thank him for that. Uh, but the thing about it is that he was getting ready to be anointed for that. And the woman had no idea uh, that she was anointing him uh, for the burial. Uh, and it was a funny thing uh, that in the house of Simon the leper, uh, uh, the Pharisees, uh, they knew uh, that Simon had been healed in the ministry of Jesus, but they didn't, they couldn't come to grips with that because the Pharisees uh, wasn't about that. If you can show me uh, how it was done, I can't believe it. There was more of reality people. Uh, and in this house at the dinner table, uh, they sat around, it was the, it was the politicians, uh, more likely Mother Katrina, and it was the it was the big wigs. Uh, and they sat at the table if you were invited. See, it ain't about what you do. It's about who you are and who you know. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And it's about uh, what you about. Your character will, 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 will decide whether you should be at the table or not. Uh, but if you weren't anybody of any significance, uh, then you stood around the wall uh, and you signified about what was going on uh, so that you could go back and tell the folk. Uh, but the people in Bethany, uh, they were very appreciative about Jesus coming into the city because they had heard about the marvelous works that he had done. Um, I'm here to tell you this morning uh, that, um, that, that it's about the oil that you carry in. Uh, uh, my God, it's precious in this sight. Uh, it's, uh, it's anointing oil. Uh, uh, it's about the, the, the reason why, say, uh, that your oil now is so thick now. Uh, the reason why your shadow is causing folk to be healed. The reason why uh, every time you go somewhere, there's some people that want to follow you. Uh, uh, every time that you sing, you understand that people fall out in the spirit. Uh, every time that you do something, every time that you have a Bible study, you find a house full of folk. And every time that you want to get together and you want to do something in the name of the Lord, uh, you find that folk always want to gather around with you. Uh, mind you, Elder Melanie, it ain't what you're doing, it's what you've done. The oil that's on your life is the hardships that you had to go through. It's the days that you had to go without. It's the times that you had to say, I'm on a fast. But you ain't really ready to call, but wasn't really ready to call a fast. You just didn't have move, food and money to buy anything to eat. And it was about when you sit up in the house with the lights clogged for one or two days at a time. And you still sat there and said, Lord, I thank you. And it was about when your husband or your wife uh, walked down on you uh, and left you with the children. Uh, and you ain't had no other choice but to cry. Uh, the money got scared uh, and the job was But God get ready to display you. I'm not 
getting ready to walk in your life. Stay in the race, God says. Stay in the race, God says. There's a reward coming. Stay in the race. Your reward is there. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, I see your son. I see your son, woman of God. I see your son, God says. He's going to be okay in Jesus' name. It's like you know overseas somewhere. I see him in a foreign land. I hear the Lord say now. I tell him that the prophet said he's going to be okay. It's something about dealing with the tax people. I got a bunch of God about I got a yoke of shit. Get about I got a bunch of But God said he's going to work it out. He said to the 2010, he's going to be okay. In Jesus' name. Because there's a door opening for a job. I deal with some secretarial stuff down in the Virginia area. I am on Shani. They gonna present. They gonna present a job over to you. I am on Shani. That's God's will. They do know that He has not forgotten. In Jesus' name. You were ready to throw in the towel on some stuff, on some issues. You were ready to give up to because you just couldn't take it no more. You were ready to just cast some people away and put some stuff back on the back burner, some things that you had picked back up. But you were ready to put it back on some good things. You were ready to put it back on the back burner. God said, no, he said, don't throw in the towel yet. He said, because he's getting ready to come, he's getting ready to come in and turn, and turn it around. When you couldn't do anything else about it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know you are too bad. I know you're too bad. I know you're too too bad. I know you're too bad. I know you too bad. I too bad. I know you too bad. I know you're too bad. I know you're too bad. I know I know the crowd is small, I know the crowd is small this morning, but it's not need everyone to sow a $20 seed right now. Come on. 